you can argue that Apple is the most important stock for the U.S. market and maybe even the global market. Are you worried about what you heard last night? Well, Don, we knew coming into the report, we had Qualcomm come in the beginning of the week that reported their smartphone uh, chip business was down about 24%. So obviously we knew that, uh, you know, iPhone revenues uh, were probably going to come in on a negative uh, light year over year. I think they were down about two and a half percent. Um, I was encouraged, Dom, when I did get a chance to listen to the conference call in terms of the guidance that they gave coming into the fourth quarter. They are excel they are expecting uh, iPhone revenues and services to accelerate in terms of growth. And uh, Dom, you know as well as I do that we have the iPhone 15 that's probably going to be come out here in the middle of September. It's hard to bet against Apple right before a, a major release of a new iPhone. So. Um, I'm cautiously conserv uh, optimistic that, uh, you know, that they'll close out uh, the holiday season on a strong uh, upbeat and uh, get things back on track for them. All right. So, Dan, is an, an interesting part, you're a portfolio manager. I, I was on the halftime report just yesterday with the investment committee. And the, the thing that was brought up multiple times with regard to previewing Apple's results was that this is still a company, Dan, that trades at 30 times next year's earnings estimates. Uh, that's a valuation that some folks find rich. Do you find it rich? You know, Dom, I knew you were going to ask me that. Uh, when we look at the current multiple, it's 32 times fiscal year 2023 estimates, around $6 a share. You know, if we go back and we look at when Apple introduced their iPhone, which was the summer of 2007, the stock has traded about 19 and a half times earnings. It's traded as high as 51 times earnings. So if you were to compare historically the multiple, let's say post iPhone uh, introduction, you would definitely say that the multiple for Apple is definitely stretched. Stock is up about 44% for the year. Uh, so there's no doubt that from that perspective, it, it does seem uh, a company that is, uh, you know, a little bit of an overreach. But, you know, the case I could make, Bear in mind, Dom, that we placed Apple on our buy list back in the summer of uh, 2005. We have a cost basis of about $1.29 a share on a split adjusted basis. So, you know, we're not going to get pushed out of the stock based on the valuation. Uh, but there's no doubt it is stretched. But I would look at Apple as an offensive and defensive stock. Uh, they're able to do well in multiple market scenarios. So I think that's what's garnering that type of premium. Uh, that we're seeing on it right now.